Hello everyone and welcome back to another very interactive chess endgame study by Viktor Evreniov. Uh, can't get enough of Evreniov's puzzles, they are brilliant, smart and interactive. And this puzzle is from 1962. So, okay, this is also highly interactive chess endgame study. So it is always, as always, white to move and win. So can you guess the best move in this position for white? It is already white to move and already white has a winning move in this position. So if I give you a couple of seconds, can you guess the best move for white? So this is in the beginning, this is a critical moment. Okay, so the move is c6. This is the move. And if capturing the pawn, then capturing the bishop. And in the original composition, we have h2 pushing the pawn and there is only one move left for black actually two moves left after moving the king black is going to push the pawn and promote the queen but let's take it back what happens if capturing the pawn then rook takes on a6 and after pushing the pawn rook takes on c6 and after king goes up it looks like a black is going to push the pawn and promote the queen so we check the king after king to g3 how to defend then rook to c1, king to g2. Now we are not going to check the king. We are simply going to push the b pawn, b4. And actually white is going all the way. Because in this position, obviously, if black is going to promote the queen, then we simply take the queen, king takes rook, and king goes after the pawn. And actually black king is too far away. As you can see, we take... And we push the pawn and this is actually too late. We are going to promote this pawn to a queen. So, okay, the first move was c6. Did you see this move? h2 and then b4. And after king to g1, there is only one move left for promoting the queen. And this is also one of the most important moments of this puzzle. Uh, what would you do in this position at this moment of the game? Can you guess the next move for white? White plays a move and after that move, white has one another very important killer move. And after both those moves, actually black is losing by force. It is that simple, but did you see what's happening here? So let me wait for a couple of seconds. If you need, you can also pause the video. So I'm giving this time for you to pause your video if you need but if you just want to enjoy the show i'm only i'm going to show the move in just few seconds okay so the move is rook takes on h2 did you see this move what a move king takes on h2 and then white plays did you see it b5 of course this is incredible absolutely amazing because whatever black does, black is losing. And then black is trying the best thing that he can do, king to g3. In this position, if bishop takes pawn, then pawn takes pawn. c takes on b7. And this bishop can stop the b pawn. It is going to be a queen. So if pawn takes pawn, then we simply capture the bishop. And if black pushes the pawn, white is much faster so this is also losing for black absolutely amazing and beautiful so b5 was the move the most fantastic move king to g3 and now can you see the idea uh, what white should play what is black trying to do of course white needs to get close to the pawns so this is why king is getting close and after king to e5, the white king is close enough. We can simply take the bishop because actually this is too late for black. And this is also pretty amazing. Now watch this. Uh, both players are racing. Both players are promoting the queen. But unfortunately, there is a nasty skewer checking the king. King up or king to d5 and then capturing the queen. And this is all over. What do you think about this fantastic and amazing puzzle by Viktor Evreniov? So he was award-winning chess problem composer and 
you can clearly see why he was so talented and he was uh, you know he won all those awards because of his beautiful amazing compositions uh, okay so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed and uh, find this chess puzzle interactive uh, so i hope to see you next time take care stay safe and bye bye